are back with another edition of Dur or Die. Welcome, everybody. My name is John Pollock. I'm your host as well as my partner. Look at him over here, Duke Wayne Wick. Hello, hello. Good evening, sir. At the Rami Studio in yes. downtown Las Vegas. What How a wonderful are you, venue. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. It's a uh, it's a uh, it's warming up a little bit in Las Vegas. We had I had a blizzard. I was driving home two days ago. Man, full on blizzard, like in my car. I'm like, what's going on? Dur or die. Your farmer's uh, report for the well, weather. Well, I mean, it's notable. That's notable. It is I mean, notable. Come on, blizzard in Las Vegas. That's true. So that's true. Come on. Our place looked like a snow globe. Uh, behind the buttons yeah. today, we got Mental Ward, who is also a, not only is he mental, uh, but he's a gimp as well. Do, mm-hmm. do you get a, uh, do you get a temporary uh, gimp placard for your Miata? Gimp award. Uh, no, because I refuse. You can't park in the gimp parking? Wouldn't. As long as I have all my digits, you will not find me parking. But you literally are, are riding around a little knee scooter. You, uh, you have a legitimate need for gimp parking. No. I don't think you can call it that. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, your scooter is fresh fly. man. You can show totally the scooter. Like, you can move the phone, Mental. You can show uh, us the scooter. We're going to go to the, uh, see if I can get this It's got work. a little number. Wait, so did you actually paint that yourself? Yes, or? I did. Uh, when my wife got run over, I, uh, <laughs> I, tried just... to, I tried to sell it, and then no one wanted it. And Facebook said, you can't sell health equipment. And then I found out I was getting this surgery. So I pimped it out with some nice, yeah, I did the wheels. Oh, then, wait, uh, did you get say my golf racing colors? Facebook won't allow you to sell. They say it's health equipment and you're not allowed to sell. No, Cause it could be faulty and you could hurt somebody with what used is, equipment. What is health equipment? Uh, oh, apparently oh, don't pull on that. Don't pull on that. It Just let it hang. Fall. Don't okay. touch it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mental's trying to destroy the show. He knocks over the box that has all the cameras plugged into it. Eh, just pick it up by the cable. No problem. Literally nothing. Will what explode. could go wrong? <laughs> Burn the whole the container park down. I love it. Uh, we also have chef in the house. Chef, how you doing, buddy? Does that, uh, yeah, go ahead and you can grab the microphone there. I, I don't think that uh, GIMP is the politically correct term for his condition. Mm, what would be the politically correct term for his condition? Pussy. No, oh, that's probably it. Because uh, I won't take a handicap spot or because I have magnificent hair? Because you just can't walk with a cane? Is that, uh, does that scooter that you're riding on there, Chef, does, is, is that a visceral experience? It, it's, it's definitely a, a different experience. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do like the custom uh, license plate. Guys of my age would have very, used a cane. Very a cane, analog. A cane is more British and acceptable than this. Right, and you could beat someone with a cane, right. and that you can't really pick up. So you have well, uh, you have your pork pie hat on. What is a pork pie hat? You were confusing the pizza delivery guy. Uh, pork pie is a flat top uh, with a short brim. I like it. It's handsome. All right. There it is, the fashion I, report on dirt or die. All I right. prefer that over the, uh, what's the other fedora. trendy hat? Fedora, thank fedora you. Tall, yeah. Fedoras aren't trendy, are they? Well, they were. The, the some Groucho time ago. hats are. Kind 1930. Of, is that what they call them? The flat ones? The really wide flat? Are they Grouchos? That's a pimp hat. <laughs> I don't know because my head is huge. Mm. I just don't wear hats that well. It's so, sh- uh, the lit, the toilet show. I love calling it the toilet show. It pisses people off in LA and I heard? love to piss people in LA off. Uh, I'm stunned because <laughs> I'm, I agree with that. And I'm like, I wanted to disagree. And I was like, no, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, the, the toy and literature show, show, show. It's show. actually the lit and toy show. Technically the, the LA. <laughs> they knew that this was going to come this up. Is so a toy, it's the that. toilet show. Yeah. Um, the lit and toy show. Yeah. It's the annual, it's like a, it's an annual, I don't, really want to call it a swap meet because it's like it's mostly vendors yeah did we lose chef is chef gone he has to attend to certain things. oh got it okay yeah. so uh yeah they at the la hilton they've been doing it for decades now right um down by the airport they, they have it started in chicago originally and oh really i didn't know yeah that. moved to la after the first year because i guess there obviously wasn't the kind of turnout that you would get as you would in LA. So, well, what, but, but what is it? They tell people what it is. I mean, we've we've sort of already covered it. I mean, it's not basically... on this episode. Nobody ever watches our shows, <laughs> so we might have. Uh, we may have doubled our our viewership by having two people watch this one. So there you go. For there half go. the audience, explain what. I honestly don't know what it is. I've never even attended, and you actually had You're a booth there. I am. I've never been, which is why I want to go this year. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm making it a point, and it's actually next uh, weekend, depending on when this yeah, gets yeah. posted. Yeah, yeah. From when we I mean, record it's, this, uh, it's, it's coming soon. up on the. It's very the end of February. Uh, the, 
the the toilet show is they take a you know it's in the Hilton it's in one of those kind of convention centers in the Hilton it's not it's hard to call it a convention center it's like a meeting room big sure. huge meeting room where uh, vendors and uh, individual sellers sell all sorts you, of they Porsche are memorabilia selling. they're selling What's that? they're literally selling it's, all it's not selling. just like oh here's a rare thing that you can look at no yeah it's menu. it's a sale it's okay. a it's a private vendor sale and I don't like calling it a swap meet because the day after is the 356 registry clubs Phoenix not no longer it's not the no longer the Phoenix club no it's uh, some other place they've um, been fired yeah so, so they're uh, out of here it's uh it's at a, so the, there's an actual swap meet the next day where individuals can bring all their used Porsche parts and stuff and lay it out behind their truck or whatever. And you asked me if I was gonna bring some stuff and I, well, I actually hold on. Let's, okay. we can still gotta tell people okay. what the toilet show is. You're like getting right to the good stuff. Well, because I, I love a good do swap the meet. Stuff. I do. I love a swap meet, right? Yeah. So the, the toilet show is much more <laughs> regimented, right? It's ve- it's mostly vendors. It's not like an individual has some old parts, so they put it put it out there. Right. It's, you know, the it's guys. It's Eric from PMB. It's Mr. Sierra Cluett Madre. from Cluett. Yeah. <laughs> I talked um, to him today, by the way. Lots of, lots of collectors, lots of people with really rare literature and old Porsche toys. Like if you needed a manual for an old, you know, 63 or something like that, or some weird part or an emblem or whatever, mm-hmm. that this is where you're going to find it. Oh, I bet the uh, 356 toolkit guy is there. Yeah. It's like all the original tools. Yeah. Stuff like that. Posters. $5,000. Uh, Powell from uh, Carbone Livery is usually there, although oh, we haven't yeah. seen him since the since COVID. Yeah. So I wonder if he'll be back this year. It'll be good to he see him. He was patient zero. There. So that's why. <laughs> Maybe, Just kidding, yeah. Powell. Uh, so, you know, guys like that show up, uh, mm-hmm. all kinds of memorabilia, stuff like that gets, and it's really neat, but you know, make sure you wear your deodorant, man. It, it is the first <laughs> four or five hours. It is not a big space. Mm-hmm. It's surprisingly small and you are jammed in there like mm. sardines. You can't even, it's so hard to see all the stuff because there's just too many people on. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't really mm. enjoy the experience. It's too, it's too cram packed. That, that does not sound appealing to me because I, yeah, I'm not. Big fan of You're a germaphobe in yeah. packed places. You're not going to dig it. I hate people. So that's general. why we typically do a professor run in the morning, a smaller than usual professor run. Right. Uh, and uh, we drive. So we'll get, we'll do a drive in the morning and end it around 10 and then make our way down to LAX and uh, pick up the last hour or two of the Toy Inlet show. What if um, you miss out on that ultra rare memorabilia that you know for. good thing is i'm not really looking for any yeah, so rare stuff so. i think the reason why i've never gone to that show is because like for instance on pelican parts they have the toy and memorabilia forum or for sale yeah uh classifieds i've never once clicked on that like i'll get book coffee books and stuff for like for my wife for birthdays birthdays and whatnot or like from friends I don't actively buy, except for like one or, there is a couple books I did actually, I take that back, the the Carrera book. Um, Whatever. I'm the trying to think is, of the author's yeah, name, but anyway, it's yeah. a super cool book. Yeah. Um, but I don't typically give a rat's patootie about like toys and literature and stuff. Yeah. So that's why the show never appealed to me. But what does appeal to me is meeting the proprietors of all these really cool little businesses that I've been purchasing from for the last decade. Yeah. For instance, clue it. Um, yeah. They make uh, ignition parts like wi- the wires that I'm running on my two seven right now. They're the best wires, uh, ignition wires on the market. And they're clue it wires. Yeah. Everybody who knows runs clue it wires, right? There's a guy that's his name. He made the company and he'll probably be at the toy and lit show. Maybe not him, but like a companies like that. Right. Well, here's so, a, have you been to the 356 swap meet? I have not. You haven't been have to that not. either. No. Here's the thing. Here's the here's what no one talks about. All the same vendors that go to the toilet show wind up going to the swap meet too. Okay. So you get the so they're you get set both. up there. Yeah, you get okay. both. You get all the stuff that you wanted to get at uh, at toilet is also at the swap meet. Now, if there's something super rare that you're looking for, yeah, you might miss out on that. Which, but yeah, if okay. that's not you, then who cares, right? If you want to meet the vendors. The Sierra Madre guys will be there. Everyone's going to be there at both mm-hmm. things. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely prefer the 356 swap meet. It's much more casual. You know, it, it's a car show at the same time. It's on grounds now. Like you said, it was on the Phoenix Club before, which was a great venue, but that has been closed off to car shows now. It's being mm-hmm. turned it's into now con- horse racing. Condos so, or something. Yeah. Is it horse racing? No, I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, 
But yeah, so, you know, I'm looking forward to the weekend. There's also uh, open houses. Rod Emery has his thing going now, on. That would be cool. Um, Benton has a thing on Friday night. Oh, Sarah Madre has a thing for on any Thursday. Of those. Do they fill up? They, they have do. like capacity. I got to look. Do. See, I got to, I got to like commit. Yeah. I haven't committed yet. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Um, Auto Kennel has a thing in the morning, I think on Saturday, but that's usually when, or is it Saturday? I don't know what you check your local listings. I mean, there's the, mm-hmm. all the different places have different open houses and stuff. So, uh, there's also the, you know, the Angels Crest Breakfast Club, uh, which is, you know, Friday morning, which is, that's a driving event. And, you know, last time you went on that, that didn't go so well for you. So it'd be no. awesome if you could actually go on it and yeah, I'm a little gun shy be to be down on it because I'm, I should have my car back up and running. By next weekend. Oh, so, really? Yeah, I'm thinking about driving it out there. Although, actually, I take that back because I need to pick up a gas tank, which mm-hmm. won't fit in my car. I don't think it'll even fit in the passenger seat. Mm. So I was planning on taking my SUV out there. Yeah, weren't you talking about bring like actually getting a vendor spot at the uh, at the swap meet? Well, you mentioned it, and then I kind of in the back of my head, I was like, I should sell some of this junk. And I was talking to my other friend John mm-hmm. about that as well because. Mm. I mean, I have a couple friends who I could take a bunch of crap. Yeah. Um, some of their I think crap. still has my 993 wing in there. Well, we're going to sell it. All right, let's do it. I actually it. have a 993 uh, reflector from mm. you. Oh, really? That's yeah. possible, if not probable. Yeah. Whatever. I get parts all over the countryside here. So, uh, yeah, that'd be cool that. if you if you did decide to do it. But I don't know. If you get your car done now, that's it's a much more fun experience if you have yeah. your car. And plus, I need to get back on that horse. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I need I need to drive it back to LA and conquer LA again and break down. Just again. as a reminder, let everybody know what happened the last time you drove your 911. Fully too. successful. Got into Luft. Was amazing. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's very successful. Day. None of those things happen. Patrick for Long. Patrick Long says dreams. to get that twenty bucks you owe him to. Yeah. <laughs> he owes me two hundred dollars, Patrick. I want that two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. I want my two dollars. Inflation. Yeah. Inflation. Sell, sell one of your tag watches. You get paid to four, and then you wore on Grey's Anatomy, Patrick. <laughs> Bring it back the, the Patrick Bring back jokes. the Patrick jokes. I love Gotta it. I love it. Redu yeah. right now is going. That's the wrong Patrick. That's, they <laughs> don't even know one, which one it is. He's our one viewer. I want to take. Because I love swap meets. Yeah. That is like the thing that me and my dad used to do. We used to drive to Pomona, mm. which is like the big hot mm-hmm. rodder uh, Father's Day, you know, roadster show in LA. Huge. Took up the whole Pomona fairgrounds. And we would take, I mean, my dad had containers of hot rod parts. Mm. And we would take a whole truck. We would get up early, load his truck, drive over there and, you know, pull in. And uh, the people would swarm you, you know, because you're, the oh, late guy yeah. to the swap meet. Mm. They're looking for all the deals and yeah. you're haggling. And I don't know. It was just super fun. It was kind of a, a cool, but I, I enjoy that process of like knowing what a cool part is and knowing like you in, in the last episode, you talked about, you were happy that your truck went to somebody who's going to use it and somebody who's going to cherish it probably. Right. Yeah. Same thing with like a used part is, as kind of lame as that sounds, but I don't know. It's, you, you like to see something get used instead of just being wasted or sitting on the shelf collecting dust and you make some money. You might pay for your weekend. So it's just such a fun, the hustle of it, the, just all the energy. I just love that. I, you know, mm-hmm. and I hate getting up in the morning. I'm not a morning person, uh, yeah. but that whole weekend is just, it's crack of dawn every dang day. It's kind of annoying, but should I stay in the, the actual venue in the Hilton or should I try to not unless you, well, I mean, it doesn't make it to me. The Hilton doesn't make sense. Like uh, one year we actually were vendors for, uh, we did a defrostination booth. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we had posters and t-shirts and swag and all that stuff. So we had a really big display. It was a great time, but we had a specific reason to be there. So we stayed there for the weekend right. and it was great for that. But the rest of the weekend suck because it's by LAX and all the drives are up north and you know all the open houses are in you know North like, Hollywood. Oh, we gotta go back to our go hotel yeah, and LAX, like, uh, and you got to deal with traffic. I mean, mm-hmm. it's right in the middle of all the mess. So uh, unless you want to be there early to get the good deals uh, or okay. that you're a vendor, yeah. I don't see any reason why it's expensive. Uh, you know, it's yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't dig it. Mm-hmm. Um, pro tip though. Uh, is if you go there, uh, just give the valet guy 20 bucks and they'll park your car right out front. Right. Um, don't bother parking in the parking garage down below. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, when we stayed there the whole weekend, I think I paid the guy $40 or something like that in my car. And we had the big Durfoss Nation logo on the side of it. So it was kind of tons of pictures were taken of the car. It was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, anyways, that exposure. said, yeah, it was great exposure if you want something like that. But anyways, um, 
No, I don't know where we're going to stay. That's something we'll probably talk about offline. I don't know if we do a hotel yeah. or an, uh, you know, no, but I think, or something like that. I think for me, the appeal is uh, getting to meet like some of these people have been in the industry creating cool Porsche products for 50 years. Yeah. And like these guys, some of them are aging out, aging out. Some of them are, you know, retiring or whatever. So there's limited opportunities to actually, you know, talk with them, which is cool because then you get an insight to the development process or like the, you know, why they built the part. I don't know. I just find that kind of stuff fascinating um, I because I fancy that, I myself. I swap meet, you'll probably be able to have those conversations more easily. Where is it? Toy and yeah, I mean, they're going to be just, inundated with like people, right? Yeah. And they're trying yeah. to make sales and stuff. They don't have time yeah. for a conversation. Yeah. Unless they're in the crowd. I don't know. I mean, th- th- that is one thing about toilet is that you'll see everyone. I mean, Magnus mm-hmm. will be in there and, you know, Seinfeld and every, every famous person will come through at yeah. some point or another, if you care. Uh, I'll finally get my Seinfeld tattoo signed. Yeah. yeah one of the Patrick's will slap you on the butt. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. That's a good question. Should you hey guys, I got to tell you about our friends, God and Porsche of Las Vegas and God and Classic. Classic if you're looking for a Bay new Porsche area, mm-hmm. or a Classic, a you've got to call our friend Steve at God and this guy. 1989 linen gray metallic G50 cab. Is that going to be for sale? It is going to be for sale. Uh, the car only has 65,000 miles. On Save it. yourself the hassle of screwing around with all the auctions like we always talk about and just talk to Steve. He'll find you the classic Porsche you're looking for, Gun Porsche of Las Vegas. If you love watching car videos on YouTube, you got to check out my channel, The Rami Show. Oh, 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 this car. I am driving a 2020 Lamborghini SVJ. This car, watch this. Oh. 115 mile an hour turn, like like it's nothing. Love to drive up there yeah. because I've never taken my 911 north. Mm. Um, you know, through that because you're you pass. I looked at one route to mm-hmm. go up there, and you can kind of take uh, through the mountain. Yosemite is like over here. And yeah, you, can, you don't want to go through Yosemite. That's no, a, I wouldn't that's go through Yosemite, but it's it's like 50 miles south of it or something. There's like a kind of a back mountainy pass or something. I don't know. I yeah. got to look again. But there's there's a bunch of different routes. That, I mean, the thing to do is just to honestly is to take the 58 all the way out to the coast and then go up. That's that's the 58 when it hits from I-5 to the coast is epic. Okay. And there's a bunch of roads in between there that you can take too. Mm, um, right. And we're going to have a professor run on Friday. Uh, and we're going to have an open house at the pit stop, uh, which is a uh, deep. Wait, are you talking about Luft? This or? is for Luft. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm switching. We're switching events. Luft cult's going to be in uh, the end of April. So if you're going to pick one or the, if you had to pick one to drive your nine mm. eleven, I would say do that because that's going to be a nine eleven driving experience. Yeah. And that, that one is actually going to be twice as many miles or maybe three it's or four, miles. four yeah. times 600 more. miles each way. It's, it's, yeah. it's a haul. Um, it, and it's pretty boring between here and I mean that's you get to that's like, to living Mexico in the desert though. Yeah. There's always like two hours of boredom yeah. before you get anywhere. At least it's the right time of year where it won't be too hot. It'll probably be a little little warm. But yeah, anyways, back to the Toy nice. and Lit Show. Um, if you if you brought the SUV, it'd be pretty pretty badass. I would load it up with some parts, and I, I think Rami you got has some a bunch parts, of parts too. Rami still has all a bunch of parts that he wants really? to get rid of. I'm gonna look through his parts first. Yeah. Pre, I also have pre-pick. some 928 crap. I will. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think if well, you put the word out, I would you have. Could be, I need a trailer. Yeah, you just like <laughs> load it up and you know be the Vegas booth and just mm. like take a big old fat commission off of everybody's yeah, ninety five percent eleven parts. That's a, that's legit, man. That's strong. <laughs> um, and I would even man the booth for a while uh, so that you could go walk around and look at parts. But I would be I able to go that. walk around first. Same. Yeah. 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 yeah, we we could have some we could do some shifts on that bad boy. Okay, yeah, that this could, could be, be fun. fun. So come by yeah. and say hi to your favorite host of your favorite Porsche podcast, and then stop by us. And see I was going to say, who's that exactly? Because exactly. I don't, I don't. Know <laughs> they won't be there, but say hi to us <laughs> while you're there. Um, yeah, Patrick, I mean, I do look have look at some. you, Patrick. Yeah, look at you, McDreamy. I have I have a a full MFI um, setup that I was thinking about selling, so I could walk out of there with thousands of dollars. Thousands the right, of dollars to the right buyer. The thing 
The thing about the toy in Lit Show, actually, I'm sorry, my bad. The thing about the swap meet, the 356 swap meet, is that people expect deals. I don't see yeah. you getting a premium for anything. No, no, I mean, any swap meets like that, yeah. right? I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. It's usually Although, stuff that you're trying to pass on, so it's, it's deal worthy. I will say this, though. I've seen, like, lots of cars get sold at it. Mm. Like, you'll go there, you know, they've got this big area uh, for Porsche parking. And there's four sales a signs. quarter of the cars are for sale. So if you oh, have this a could be dangerous. Sale, yeah, it's, it's rough duty, man. You go oh, in there wow. like, Oh, I gotta get that. Gotta get that. I gotta get that. So my nine, six, four may or may not have a, uh, for sale sign. Oh, we'll we'll there you go. You heard it here. We you're shall in the market. See if you're in the market, you know, and if the you're curious, special. if you're curious about that, uh, I don't know when it'll drop, but isn't there an upcoming, uh, episode of everyone's favorite car reviewer, the Rami show. That is true. That if you haven't checked out our sister channel, yeah. Is he always oh, reviewing Hank cars Moody. now? The Hank Moody spec. Yeah. Uh, R- Rami that. has kind of shifted into into car reviews for the channel. That's oh, his nice. plan for okay. the next year is to do car reviews. So we've got the first four or five of them up and... Uh, and we did, a, we did, a, or he did an episode. He'll do an episode on that car specifically soon, but it makes an appearance in a. Uh, it was kind of like a crew car episode. Uh, we featured Mentals Miata, mm. and is that the uh, one with the my, uh, camber, extreme camber? Oh yeah, like, it's, it's hella flush, yep. Yeah, uh, and a crooked, uh, crooked license plate. License plate. Forty-five. One purpose. of my bolts fell off. Yeah. I'm so annoyed. Sure, <laughs> he one of his bolts fell off, right? Famous. He's short of a bolt. Few bolts. Short of a bolt. Um, yeah. So, uh, by the way, we should mention that uh, if you're in the market for a classic Porsche, you should check out our friends at God and Porsche of Las Vegas. Yes. They are kind enough to be sponsors of this very show. We and were down there t- last weekend. Yeah, two weekends they ago. did the they, they big, did the reveal uh, yeah. of their next restoration project, yeah. that nine nine three turbo. What a car! What that, a car! That car doesn't need restoration. It, it was perfect. Looks, it looks pretty dang it's like good. Like clean but it. Then it's <laughs> not know? perfect. So and, and and that's on the heels of their award winning entry from the uh, last Porsche yeah their classic little restoration uh, they got did the you know? Bumblebee nine fourteen yeah the LE yeah and yeah. Uh, I I I know we're still talking about the toy and lit show, but I, if you want to see some of their work, you should always come down to a Cars und Cafe the last Sunday of every month at the Goodwill <laughs> Clothing Company here in downtown Las Vegas because God and Classics always bring something, if not like four really cool things. They do bring a lot of cool cars down there. That's true. They usually bring whatever the coolest thing is there half the time. Unless right. Robbie shows up with a roof or something like that. But uh, Sometimes when I pull into that show, I'm like, I see a car and I'm like, oh, that must be from God because it's yeah. like a pristine like 964 Turbo or something like that. Yeah, and the cool thing is if it is something cool, like it's for sale. It's for sale. You yeah, can literally usually, buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually if they bring something cool to our show, and it, it usually sold. It Somebody usually sells, it, yeah. yeah. It's true. You know, um, we should just go to offer to drive all of their cars to California that we're willing to make that sacrifice for our sponsor. We'll drive their classics <laughs> to the swap meet in Pomona yeah. and then just- Give me uh, the Turbo. I think that's an excellent plan. Yep. Uh, Paul, are you watching? Uh, we will come up and pick up whatever classic Porsche you want. To, or, or if you want to try to sell a modern one, we'll, 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 we'll do that too. We're, do they do... We're agnostic. I like, don't know. I feel like it's a different aesthetic. It's not as analog. I don't know if Chef would would approve of the driving, the visceral the experience. driving experience or not. Are, are there specials at the, the lit literature and toy show? Like, I need a new set of whatever uh, calipers. Am I going to get like... 20% off special. Do you remember anything like that? No, because I don't that would be ever. another incentive for yeah. me to go to something like that. Because, like, these big manufacturers never do sales. Like, mm. Elephant Racing, mm. they don't do sales. Yeah. You can. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to say yes to a certain extent. Like, sometimes mm-hmm. they'll bring some overstock stuff or something special or whatever. Um, they should. If you're listening, do a lit and toy <laughs> discount. Discount. 15. What's, what's I mean, that's that? how Pomona was. Like, you could go to the Hot Rod Pomona show mm-hmm. and you could get a full 32 Ford Roadster or whatever body mm. and it was 10% off at the show, mm. right? Yeah, or like SEMA, you go to SEMA, you get a SEMA special, right? There's kind of the unwritten rule of SEMA is like, what's your, what's the, what's your uh, show special? Well, you know, I'm I mean, a welder at the SEMA show with a discount. See? You can haggle with the guys too. I mean, you can make, all, who was the company that first came out with those, those, steel roof racks that kind of looked like the Volkswagen oh, roof yeah. racks. But was it Renline? Kind of, I think it was Renline. They were I know they have one now. And they had like, when they first came out, I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. Renline does, to their credit, do a lot of sales. I mean, yeah. they did it three or four a year. Yeah. Um, Pelican will be out there with stuff. They'll have, yeah, I mean, 
I yeah. I, I don't know if they'll have any, if they'll call it a... Pelican always has sales, but it's like element fire extinguisher. I'm like, well, I don't really need that. I need like the nuts and bolts of the car. I don't he need like accessories. Do, I don't need a fire extinguisher. No. Dwayne just no. said he doesn't need a fire extinguisher on the show. <laughs> Go I, ahead and mark that in the show <laughs> and uh, for future episodes. Geez, you're gonna, don't even... Go there, man. Talk to Rami. Don't even go that there. Cars burning oh, down. Oh God, no! I have a fire extinguisher. Good. Riding shotgun. Good. And Very it's, nice. It works. It works. Yeah. Well, are you guys excited about the toilet show and the swap meet mm-hmm. and the weekend? Are you guys going to L.A.? Are you, I mean, if you already live in L.A., you're like, heck, why not? But are you from somewhere far away and you're going to make? I always call it the unofficial opening of Porsche season. Yeah, it's kind of the first big event of the year. So, yeah. and then Luft is early this year. I mean, no. which means no, no, no. Luft, that's the same time it always. No, no, is. no. It's in April. Yeah, March. end of April. Oh, from April to May, it's always Luft. that was Luft is always at, in that like transition weekend. It's always been that weekend. Yes, go back and look at all the other you ones. The only one, you the last one. one no, the fan. last, yeah, the last two have been in. Yeah, but those were screwy because those were those were COVID. COVID times oh. because the last two. Well, were here, here's why I mm-hmm. bring that up is because maybe they're going to do two this year. Mm, I doubt. Maybe they're going to do know. April. Maybe they're going to do November. Who knows? They might. They they do yeah. weird stuff. Well, this one's going to be two days. That's true. They're doing. They're a saying whole it's going to be it's going to be Saturday and Sunday, not yeah. just Saturday. I, who knows with these guys? Whatever. You know, I'm down. Let's check it out. Um, yeah. No. Before before the whole COVID thing, they were always in the. That's right. I remember uh, Universal. That one was, was that one in? That was in the spring. April, yeah, yeah. The April to cross over May. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. were, they up until, it, the only the only exception was the one that they did, was it in London or Germany or something? They did one mm-hmm. in Europe and I can't remember when that was. But, and it rained, but yeah. that's, you know, oh. the UK. I mean, every day. Every day. All right, guys, we're going to move on. Uh, we'll see you at the Lit Show, the Toilet Show, and the 356 Club mm-hmm. uh, swap meet and maybe on the road, on the side of the road. Hopefully we won't be on the side of the road. Hopefully we'll be driving and waving. Uh, thanks for hanging out in the Dura Die Porsche podcast. Check out our friends at God and Porsche. And uh, thanks, Dwayne. Thanks, yep. Mental. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. We'll see you guys next time on Dura Die. Bye.